Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us back here at CCSC on our Blackwoods map, Stockholm City Skylines build. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to do one simple thing, and we'll keep the, uh, the game paused for the entire episode. We have reached five stars on this farmland area back here, and we are going to completely renovate the entire area. Uh, I don't like the way that it looks. Uh, in an earlier episode, I said... Um, you know, a lot of country roads are curved and, and have a feel like that. So we went all the way around the outside area. However, this area seems to be functioning a lot more like a industrial area opposed to a farmland area. So we are going to take a slightly different approach here. We're going to delete all these roads out. We're going to put this whole thing back on a grid. Uh, we're going to move everything, change everything, and rearrange everything. Uh, just a very important lesson on pre-planning your build, build whenever you look at an area in a city and decide what you want to do. It's nice to kind of think about how you're going to do it. Uh, since we didn't do that, we're going to go ahead and delete all of these roads. Now, if you go to your bulldozer tool and then you hit triangle, uh, default bulldozes everything. And then obviously buildings, abandoned buildings, and roads. So if we switch this over to roads, then the only thing that we can delete are roads. It's not going to click on anything else to delete. It won't even touch a tree. So we're going to do that, and then if you go right on the D-pad, it opens up this, and it will delete everything in this circle. Uh, so we're going to delete these very quickly, just by doing this, all across this area, and it's going to wipe out every single road, and we're done. Instead of going through and deleting segment by segment by segment by segment, that's much easier, much quicker. Uh, so then we are going to... Grab the four-lane industrial road, and we're going to stretch this down here as far as we can go. And then, unfortunately, we are going to have to move... We're going to expand this area. We're going to have to move a lot of things multiple times. We're going to waste some money in this episode, quite a bit of money. Uh, right now, we're at $462,000, and I suspect probably, I don't know, $200,000, $100,000 we'll probably spend on this. Uh, so we're going to start with that, and then the first thing that we're going to do is move these out of my way. And this is just a temporary move. Move. We will be moving these again, and I know it's a waste to spend $2,400 just to move it out of your way. Uh, but now we can continue this road down. And I think if we stop there, that might be fine. We'll probably delete those anyway. And then I'd like to come off of this road with a gravel road. Although I'm going to put all this on a grid, I do want to keep the gravel road feel for uh, the farmland area. So I think if we come here... So if we come here, we only need to move those two red things. Those two, this and that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move those real quick. And again, that's just a temporary move. We will move it again. Put that up here. Uh, and then we can come off with our gravel road. And... I think we were about here. And then nothing will stop it. Uh, so I want to bring this farmland out quite a bit. We'll start there for now. And we're gonna come we're gonna bring this back, but I don't know how far yet, but we'll just do that for now. And we may utilize some of this industry area. Uh, but you can see if you go to this map, you can go to the farm or the natural resources and you can see the farmland. And yeah, there's a little bit up here, but there's no reason for us to be up here. So we're going to come off of this road and just encompass this whole area back here, mostly, uh, for our farmland. So two things that I want to do in this episode um, is I want to put kind of a cattle um, and milk produ producing area, uh, processing area, sorry, uh, over in this area. And I want to uh, put the farmland over in this area. So we're going to start by moving all the farmland. So if we go to this map, you can see we probably need to come about here off of this road. So we're going to come down... Well, let's go there. And then we're going to move some of these medium and small area um, farm areas over on these rows because the large area won't lay flat. The slope is too, sleep for the slope is too steep for the large farming area. So first, I think we're going to move the apple orchards. So we'll move these apple orchards up here. And my idea for this is to put all of these facing the side roads. So anyone coming in needs to go down the side road and not have anything on this main road here. 
So we're gonna move the apple orchards, and this is one as well. This is a medium uh, fruit greenhouse. Uh, however, I'm gonna change this from greenhouse because it's not on a level terrain anymore, and we're gonna make it pears, and that'll look more natural and slope down the side of the side of the hill. Now we can go back, and we're gonna put a gravel road behind that, and we'll come the same distance. And on the next road, we're going to put some farmland, and we're going to take we're going to take a large farmland area, sorry, a medium farmland area, and we're going to put it here. And the small farmland area you can see is just a field. So if we put those two together, it just makes it look like there's, you know, he has that whole area there. And then we're going to do the same thing with this. Um, but actually, I think we're going to do this on another road. So we'll stretch this down. And we're going to do the same thing over there that we did on the road above it. And we can put one more road behind that. And what else do we have here? We've got another field over here. So we'll put this cornfield on this road and we'll do one more and then we should be to a flat enough area that we can slip some farm uh, large farmland plots back there so go to our industries and we will put large crop field over here and we'll put another one so we've got two cornfields over there and we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of those um probably to about that back area. That's about where it all cuts off. But we'll fill in the rest of those. Uh, first, I want to move a few things around and rearrange. Uh, I want to get the workers' barracks. I think we're going to put the workers' barracks on the top of this hill so they have a bit of a view all around them as they drink their ice-cold beverages after they finish a hard day's work. So we're going to put this here. And I'm going to keep it off the road for now, we may have to put another barracks over there, but for now, I'm going to keep it off the road. And we'll put all these guys up here, and uh, it's good to be it's good to be nice to your workers. So instead of down in a valley, they actually can sit on their porch and stare around at the city or the mountain or, you know, they have a bit of a view. Uh, so we're going to keep the workers' barracks up there. And I don't think, I don't know, but I don't think they'll get in a car to go to these jobs here. I think they'll just walk. And then I have... Oh, make sure whenever you go back to your tool. <laughs> oh. So we need to finish that off again. Um, and I have an idea to do... Uh, like I said, uh, milk processing and cattle area up in this zone. So we're going to come off of this road. And as I've told, as I've uh, expressed in past episodes, you don't want to do an intersection too close here. You want it to come down a little. So we, we're probably going to come down quite a bit actually. Uh, cause we're going to move all that. And I don't think we're going to have anything on this side of the road. So let's come down to about here, I think. Let's come down to there for now. Oh, sorry, it's auto-saving. So we'll come down to there for now. And that puts... Yeah. Makes it a bit of a steep grade coming off of it, but that's fine. Uh, we can adjust that with the landscaping tool. I know I keep saying that, and I don't really do it. Uh, but to be fair, why not try and work with the terrain that you have and get things to work around? Okay, so the next thing that I want to do... Uh, so this building here is your farm main building. Uh, farm main building sets an unassigned industry areas type to farming and works as the industry areas headquarters for city service vehicles. So what I'm thinking here is we're going to do two entrances to this farmland area. Uh, as I said, I'm going to keep a cattle um, processing area up in this area. So any of the trucks hopefully will come down this road, either go to the factories or the shipping or the cattle area or the farmland. Uh, I'm going to put the main building, though, over here so that any civil uh, city service uh, vehicles that need to get there 
can go to the main building over here and hopefully it's far enough away from this area that all the trucks will stay off of this uh, entrance and exit. Uh, we'll see, you know, cross your fingers. Uh, but we're going to take this highway and uh, actually first I'm going to go to a gravel road and we're going to come up from here. We'll go out one. And we know we're going to extend this road down eventually. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And we will come up here. One. Uh, ten. However you want to look at that. And then we'll go to the curve tool. And let's just go out half, actually. Come on now. There we go. So my idea here is to have a very nice view of the farmland area uh, as you come in to these roundabouts here. Uh, so I, so you can see all the farm area back there, and we're going to fill that in a lot more. But on this road here, I'm going to put the admin building and a couple barns so that as you're coming in to go to college, you can look over and you actually see something that looks like farmland. Uh, that's the game plan anyway. So we're going to move the admin building first. And I would like to be able to... How can we do this? Um, You know, if we made that wider... I think that's what we're going to do. Sorry, we're going to make this wider. We'll delete all of this. And go back to our gravel road. And we're going to go out with a curve... What do you think? Two? One and a half? Let's do one and a half. And we'll do the same over here, and hopefully this wider curve will allow us to put the farmland building, main building, on the curve. And then the straight tool should connect that. Now let's see. Yeah, so I would like that, so that as you're coming around that roundabout to the top right of us, that's what you see. So we'll put the main building there. And what else do we have that goes over there? Uh, the farm maintenance building. We can put that next to it, uh, but yet kind of a little bit away. So actually, let me go ahead. Uh, we're going to go back to our roads, and we'll connect this highway over here, now that we know where we're going. And I'm going to try and come kind of straight into this. And we're going to attempt, and I don't know that people are going to use it. I think they're probably not. Uh, but we're going to attempt to do some exit and entrance ramp um, roads. Now I think what's going to happen is people are going to come down here, exit off, go to the admin building or the you know main building, and then instead of going around this loop here, sorry, around this loop back here, I th and coming out this way, I think they're just going to turn around and go out that way. But that's fine. Um, if that is the case, then we can change it around and, in later episodes and rearrange it. But we'll do that for now and see how they react to it. Um, now let's move the farm maintenance building, and that's what I wanted to check, yeah. So let's move the farm maintenance building on this side of that. How's that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And what else do we have over here? Uh, small barn, large barn. I think that's it that we want to move over there for now. So we'll relocate this. This is a small barn, and let's put this on the other side of that. And we'll put the large barn closer to the road. And now, so as you come in off the highway, as you're coming in, say you're going to school. Let's go to this view. Say you're going to school over there. You can see all the farmland in that area. You get off the exit ramp. You come down here. And you're, you're going to school over there, but you can look over and you can see some farmland, some barns. It looks good. It looks real good. Uh, okay, so I think that area is good. Let's go back to this view. Now I just need to get my more industrial area done. And we're going to go back to the two-lane um, industry road. And what I'm thinking here is doing a loop, uh, much like we did kind of up here. Except for right now, I don't know that we need to go one way. Uh, but the main reason that I want to do that is to get... You can see how high that is. I want to get on flat terrain down here. Because uh, if you put 
a animal pasture on the side of this, then it, they, you know, you're going to see cows going up and down rocks and trying to climb on mountains and stuff. Uh, so we're going to get this out of the way, just a temporary move, and go back to our road. And we'll extend it down to here. Um, and then I think, and we may make this loop here shorter. We may make that a lot shorter, actually. Uh, so, I think, let's go ahead and go with the curve tool, and we'll do a short curve here to try and keep the road straight. Uh, try and keep as much space that we can. And let me test something. I think that's enough room for our slaughterhouse. This is the biggest thing to get up there. Yeah, okay, so we need to expand the industry. And do we need to put it up there? We might. Uh, so what I'm what I'm envisioning here is to have this is still kind of a factory, 85 workers. However, instead of getting to it by the factory park over there, you get to it by coming through the animal. Um, let's go there. Yeah, so this one isn't on that road. It's on the other side, but yet it still butts up against that, so it's still in the factory zone. You see what I mean? So it's still, the noise, the pollution is all in that area. And then we need to figure out what we're going to do with all this. This is the flour mills and some grain silos. So let's go back to our road and our curve tool. We'll come out short. And then let's go straight. How far can we go down here? What do we want to do here? Uh, so let me check... I want to see, so I don't necessarily want to do too much with the uh, animal side of it. I just want to get it stable enough. However, since this is a teaching tutorial, we do have, we have unlocked a large animal pasture. So I would like to put that in there just so that you can see what it is. And I think, let's put it on that corner there. That looks fine to me. So we're going to put it there. And then we can go and find out what we want in there. Let's do pigs. Yeah. Give us more diversity for our animal byproducts. Uh, and then we can move the small pastures over there. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to re relocate this. Just because I know it's, it's just the fences don't line up. I know it's just being picky. I know. But we'll go ahead and do that. Hmm. What's it look like on this side? Missing one square there. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, we may... I don't think we're going to change it. I think that's done. Put that there. And the greatest thing about uh, moving a pasture, or the first time I noticed it was on a zoo, uh, moving a zoo exhibit... Uh, the elephants, the, the horses, the whatever you have. Uh, as you unpause the game... Hmm. Uh, as you unpause the game, all these animals will just trot along and go back to their natural habitat over here. They organize, they, you know, nope, we go to this one, we go to that one. Kind of entertaining. Um, that is all of the pasture land. I kind of wish I would have done gone shorter with that. Maybe it doesn't need to be up in that area. However, uh, let's see what else we got. Because I know we've got milking parlor. We'll relocate this. Can this fit there? This can fit there. That's good. So we'll put that in line with that. And it has a little bit of a walking path in between. Uh, I don't know that we'll put a walking path there, but we might. But those butt up against each other. And then what is this? Is the cattle shed, correct? Yeah. So let's move... Where should we put the cattle shed? I suppose it should go next to the cattle. And I do not like that there at all. So let's move that. Uh, I'm trying to, and again, I keep talking about it in episodes. You can, uh, should we put it there? No, I think we're fine. Let's just put it there. Uh, you can adjust the terrain, you can do all that kind of work, but I kind of like, you know, I mean, yes, if you need to, if you, you know, something needs to go there, but if, if not, work with what you got and try and figure out a way to get
get things around. And actually, I think we might move that pasture, because I don't like it there anyway. Uh, so we need to figure out where to put these flour mills. And I don't know if I want to put them on this road or this road. I think this road, though. Let's go ahead and do... Um, let's see. Can we move anything now? Let's see here. Let's go and just try and move these here for now. And see if we can... If we won't have to move them again later. If we do, it's only $1,200. Uh, now we can add a little bit more road. And then I think we can get the flour mill over on that road. At least one of them to get it out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this here. Yeah, that doesn't mess up the terrain bad. And go to this road. And let's go up. Let's go over. Oh, because of that? Nice. Let's try and curve this around. And then we can maybe move that flour mill over to here. Let's get it a little bit off the road. Yeah, we might. And there we go. We've got kind of a pasture loop. Um, hmm. I'm not exactly happy with the way it all turned out, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. What, uh, what would this look like? Yeah, and we still need to get, actually, so we need to get, where is the, oh no, we moved the cattle shed, didn't we? Cattle shed's over here. Um, so let's check out one more large pasture and see how that would fit. Ooh, yeah. So we'll, and then how does it fit there? Hmm. So it won't fit that way, two of them back to back, but I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so, sorry, thinking to myself. Uh, we'll move this one over here. And then we, if we need, we can put a couple more large ones there. But for right now, that should be fine. And I know they're on pollution, but that pollution will clear up quickly. Hopefully it doesn't uh, taint any of the beef. And that is pretty much what I had in mind. Uh, so, I want to add a few more things. Um... I would like to add, so down here I think we're going to do large orchard, um, but I don't want to add too much yet because I'm not positive uh, how big these things get. <laughs> uh, so I've reached level 5 on other builds uh, in City Skylines, but I have never, uh, you know, fully utilized it. Uh, I just kind of got it to a level 5, and then I went, okay, we got this little farmland industry. However, if you look at these plots of farmland, they supply a lot of workers. This is a medium crop field, and it has, where is it at, 22. The large ones have 27 workers. Huh, actually, it would be better to put a bunch of small ones, wouldn't it? They have 20 workers. So if you're trying to look for workers, interesting. Maybe we don't want to put a bunch of large ones. Anyway, um... We got them there for now. So what is this growing? Corn and wheat. So let's change this one. Uh, let's go ahead and keep all of these wheat fields for now. And then down here, this is corn. Yeah. And then we'll do corn fields down there. And these are all wheat. Let's change these. Let's do uh, cotton, actually, because I think there is a clothing factory. That's potatoes, isn't it? Do cotton. Yeah. And so let's go ahead and go back to our tool and switch it to default. It'll delete everything and we'll make this kind of like that. Uh, we can't do that. Okay, so we're going to go to our landscaping tool and if you go over to trees and make it big uh, and then hit square, instead of putting them, it removes them. And I want to see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. As you come in on this roundabout, you get a nice view of some farm-looking buildings with farmland behind them. 
I dare say that looks very good. Uh, so, let's get a few of the other things that we've unlocked. And I don't think it's much. We've got all of this. What was that, cotton shed? Oh, cattle shed, sorry. Um, let's see, we've unlocked large grain silo. We'll go ahead and put those down just to show you what they look like. And that's it. That's all the only, that's the only thing we don't have already. So we'll put down a large grain silo next to the uh, flour mill area. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That looks more like what an actual... Uh, agricultural area looks like. I am very happy with that build. All right, so now uh, let's look and see if there is, I think there's, is there another factory we haven't unlocked? Or we have unlocked, I mean, there's that. What is this? Food factory. Um, can we, oh, it butts up that way. Hmm. I suppose we could put it there. I think that might be our best option. Can we put it on the back here? No. Yeah, I think that's our not best, but only option. I would like to move that. I don't like the way it fits on the train. So, let's see. If we move this over... Oh, if we move this over, because now we... No, we can just put it up against that. Let's do a little bit of a space. And then let's see... No, I didn't think so. Huh, that's an interesting building. So I guess we got to put it over here, but that's fine. We'll keep it one square off of the main road. And anyone that needs to get in or out of there, they just got to go around the one-way loop all the way. Oh, that's a cool factory building. I kind of like that. I wish that was... Can you see that from the road? Not really. I wish that was more facing the road. We couldn't put it over here? Did I check that? No, because of the curve in the road. Well, we can change that curve. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, Let's go smaller. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and change that off completely. And go back to our one-way road, industry road. Oh, and we'll go straight. Oh. We'll go straight a little bit of the way, and a little bit of the way there, and then we'll go curved and see if we can fit that in now. Uh, sorry, I know this is... There we go. Now, I don't even know what that cost us to move that. What does that cost? $40,000. Great. Oh, wow. So we have spent all of our money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've spent all of our money remodeling that. I thought maybe a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. But yeah, I kind of like that. So let's go to the tree thing. I kind of like that, that when you're coming in off the highway, you see all the farmland, you see the factories, you see the face of Herman's. I don't know if it was worth 40 grand to move it, but it is done. And there we are. Uh, so let's get some water and power and get all that organized. And then we can hit play and end this episode. And that's not straight. So we'll just do that for now. We need that now. Alright, so everything has water now for our power. Um, let's go ahead and delete that power line and we'll come around the back for the for that. And that should connect all that up. Let's see, is that connecting that? Of course not. <laughs> Just barely not. Um, so we'll run this straight, connect it there. And yeah, I think we'll just go straight over and connect over there. Is there any way we can go over here? Yep, we can go right there. All right, so we'll just do that. Now, eventually all this will fill in and probably we can delete those. Uh, but that is it. I think that looks good. We got power everywhere, right? 
Okay, yeah, connected. Yeah, everything's connected. So we can hit play, and we can see, we'll go to three times fast, and we'll see all these cars scurry. And I will show you the mass exodus of the animals. I've, I've never seen them blocking traffic. That's kind of cool. Although they're running a lot of them over. Not exactly blocking it. Uh, but So all these animals will just march on down there and get back in their fins. It's awfully nice of them. Um, traffic, we're doing okay, I believe. Need a little bit of trash service in the city. Uh, but I would say that is successful. We need some raw material, but I think all of that will level out. And in later episodes, we're going to go ahead and fill in this whole hill back here with more and more farmland, depending on the demand uh, for both jobs and for what our factories need. And we may delete this section here uh, to keep it, prevent it from having a four-way and maybe put a road over here. I don't know. We'll see how traffic goes for a little bit. But that is what I wanted to show you in this episode. Thank you very much for joining the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if this information has been helpful in any way and or entertaining. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC on our Blackwoods map, Stockholm build. And I'm glad to help you with your farmland if I did. Thank you very much.